to live production of Jolly TV Global. It's your girl Jolly. I'm like this is gonna be my first time, you know, having this program live. Um, and I'm not here alone. I'm here with sisters. Hi, sisters. How are you doing? Hi, Jolly. I'm doing fabulous. Are you? I'm doing great. How's your Sunday be? Been? Oh, it's been great. It's been great. No complaints. It's been great. All right. Yeah. So, um, today I want to. There's um. I made like two posts this week. I should think this week and last week of a particular topic, which you know it has been a little bit of. There has been a little bit of argument on it. So I decided to do a little bit live to discuss it. We're going to discuss two um two topics or two discussions. One is going to be. Hi, 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 I can see it. Hi, I can see it. My first like. Thank you so much. What we are going to discuss on the issue of, <laughs> of um, men kneeling to propose to women. There was a video I posted early this week, and it brought a lot of argument. A lot of people were against, you know, women and men kneeling to propose to their women. Why? Some were out for the girl, but others said no. Some the video everybody knows about. If you check my my recent post, you're gonna see that already. So I want us to discuss on it, and I also want to let you know that this this I would say that this problem started when the veteran uh, actor Peter Doce spoke against it. Before now, it wasn't an issue. But when Peter Dochi said that it was wrong for women, for, for a man to kneel to propose to a woman, that it is against our tradition, it's against our culture, that it is wrong. He even go ahead to say it was more or less like a cause for that marriage. So, um, have you listened to what I said? What do you think? And I'll be listening to you know, what my audience is going to say. Well, Jody, I mean, this is a very controversial issue. However, I mean, there are too many dimensions to the story itself or to the issue. But I would say that I am not speaking against Pete Butcher's, um, whatever um, situation or whatever it is that he has said, I mean, his opinion. Yeah. However, I mean, this, this issue is opinionable, you know? And then because culture differs too, and also just that even culture, culture is the life and way of people. Yeah. And some cultures too, things change. When things change over time, I mean the culture that we may have may had centuries ago may change due to so many things coming in, you know? Yeah. But, um, yeah. However, I would say that, I mean, this issue of um, a man kneeling down to propose to a woman. I mean, I don't think if you look back in the history, you know, I think you know, in the Western life itself, I think it comes to that other than system. But we are human beings, you know. And this issue, if you look at the way it is actually stated back then, it is actually stated as it's a sign of respect and also pledging your loyalty to the woman itself that you're about to get married to. So I think the same way the knight will also know that if, if to be a lord, just pledging their obedience and loyalty, I think it is too. I mean, for me, I don't think if you love somebody and respect that person, I don't think meaning that actually means anything, though. So, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really mean anything. But I think if you love somebody, you can go to the extra level, like uh, that they all would think it's in our, in our, uh, draw water. A man can go as far as bring the boy to draw, bring water for this lady. So I think it's something that if you love her, I think maybe that the person shouldn't be taking I mean, yeah. that's what I think. Yeah, um, I'm going to read a little bit of you know, people's uh, comments, you know, about, because basically they were um, against the lady. They felt she's rude. They felt she has an attitude. And, um, and she shouldn't have walked away. And a lot of people said it is not, it is not in our culture. So I, when it comes to culture, for me, this is my opinion 
please don't be angry if my opinion might not you might not like it but this is my own personal opinion when it comes to culture and tradition you understand i'm someone who believe in culture which is the way people the way who people are this is who we are our culture is who we are so if you decide to put culture aside which the guy did i'm drawing i'm drawing my argument based on that particular video i'm drawing my argument based on that particular e video and that incident the guy chose to put a camera on the guy chose to hold a ring you understand and don't forget they were not in the from the surrounding it clearly shows that they were not even in nigeria they are outside africa so now he's holding a ring which is a borrowed culture he's actually practically borrowing the, the culture of another person and we all know even before before pity Joche said something about it i never knew that there was any other way apart from kneeling down to propose for some generation because the older generation will understand that no you don't need to kneel down but the newer generation we grew up to know that you need to kneel down to propose to a lady so this time around he came with a ring and refused to kneel down do you understand you here you are with a borrowed culture with a ring and you don't want to do it as you don't want to finish what you started so that's where i think he was wrong you understand that's my that's where i think he was wrong since he has decided to use a borough culture he should have finished it that's my belief that's just what i i i uh, i i i can say on that you know so when it comes to culture and you want to behave like your people you sh he shouldn't have come with a ring you understand and i followed up with the girl's response you, 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 he could have chosen to propose anywhere in the house, you know, in her house, in her parents' house. You can go and ask for her hand in marriage, which is the way you and I understand. Sisters, are you with me? Yeah, I understand. Which we, underst we understand that, you know, you go to the, per the, the girl's parents' house to actually ask for the girl's hand in marriage. But he left all that, you know, to come and do it publicly with a camera on and if i judge from little bay you know there's a lot of little stuff you need to pick up from that video the guy looks i actually thought it was a stage i thought it was staged i didn't think it was real i thought maybe both of them wanted to you know go a little viral so they decided to you know i can see all the love thank you thank you thank you all thank you for supporting your girl so i thought it was staged but hence it was not staged and this this guy this guy appeared like someone who had you know you know he maybe boasted with his friends to say okay i'm gonna you know abide by the uh, peter Doches rule i'll propose to this girl and i will kneel down that's the way it looks to me you know and he insisted and he went back he went further to say if i go to church will i kneel down to propose to you Nobody, we all know that nobody kneels down in church. One, you don't propose in church. Two, you, you are getting married in church. So none of you is going to kneel down, except maybe that's the, uh, it has to do with the church. Maybe the church will require you kneeling down. But I've never seen anybody who kneels down in church to exchange ring during the marriage. So you, it, it, those two comparisons were even wrong. You know? And his friends were telling him on the background, please do it the right way. Finish it up. You know? For the sake of that, that you know, that's a, that condition that actually, I would have thought the best thing for him is, if he truly, truly loved the girl, it shouldn't be a big deal for him to kneel down to propose to a girl. For me, do you think it's a big deal? Because a lot of people say to her that uh, it's a cause unto a man who kneels down to propose to a girl. So I will ask you, is it a cause? Is it biblical? Is it a cause? Sure. Yeah, I would say, I mean, people's opinions, uh, I mean, it's their opinion, but what do they mean by curse, you know? I mean, 
it is what the it is what the person has decided to do. You know, I think it is his own. But when you say a curse, I mean, who is laying the curse upon the person? Is it the devil or is it God? Come on, I mean, sometimes the words are very preposterous that um, they don't really make so much sense. And um, if you look at this, what is the standard? Like you just said, I mean, I mean, if it is, if you decided to put up this act because of it's a Western act, you know? Yeah. I mean, you should, you should, it's a standard. If you should fulfill all the standards that is required, all the requirements pertaining to this, pertaining to what you have decided to do. So you don't put it short. I mean, I mean, if you decide to propose, come on, you should do it all the way. Then you stand up for proposal, you know, you, you don't stand and be proposed to a lady. You can decide how to propose to the lady and then follow the code. If you want to follow your culture, what your culture says, you know? Yes. Then you can follow through the culture. But if it is the word proposal, you know, you want to propose to somebody. I mean, it is, it is what is borrowed. This is borrowed. I think it's, um, it is a nurse for you to follow the details, you know? And then, and, and truthfully, everybody, I mean, you still really don't love somebody, I think you can go an extra mile. There's something like, uh, there's something like, uh, the, the force will be upon you if you know that for it. I don't want to say, I mean, I, I, I don't want to be, if it is that, if it is what Africans believe, or what all Africans believe, I think it's something that will have to change, but if it is that mentality. I feel me now, what, I mean, so a woman is, a woman obviously, I mean, it shouldn't be worth supporting it, it should be a helper, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, we should also, we should also respect and honor a woman. So, what is leaning down, does it take anything away from you? I mean, it is, it is, it is your, when your age you reduce, or your bank account reduce, or the dignity you have of the person to reduce, I mean, let's call what it is, you know. I mean, you know, as much as the man is the head of the household, at the same time, the woman is the leg. Without the leg, the head is not stand. So I think it is give her that honor and respect. I don't think it comes up with big deal. All the people who are doing all the things as anything is not wrong, I mean, at this end, or as something to resist from their own personality. So I think it is. Um, yeah, I think it's something that um, each person will have to do to intend proposing. Do it the right way. I mean, if you love somebody, I think we should go all the extra miles to do what is necessary. And to make her happy, you know, like, you know what is going to make her happy? I know. She, she actually said she would told him, it's good, yeah, this is what I want. Come on. Yeah. Man, he wasn't told this is what I want. And then he's out of pride of a man to say no. I can't give you this, and then you propose to a I, 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 I see the guy as a, uh, a guy, I see the guy with someone with a lot of ego. That's the way, that's another thing. I see the guy with a lot of ego, too. You know? Yeah, if, yeah you're very right. And when it comes to love, ego does say That's why they said, when a man is in love, time and space actually doesn't matter no more. Because they reduce to the, to the real time. They reduce to what they call the infinite because when you love a woman, life, time seems not to exist because you in love you are in the presence of the person you really love, and place tends to be is infinite, you know. So what I'm saying is, if the man really loves that woman, I mean, if I don't think this was the point right on, you know, trying to be defensive, you know. If you truly love her, you should go all the extra mile to do what is necessary. And then the woman said, this is what is going to make me happy. Come on. I think if it is what is going to make her happy, what well, that's good for her. It is, it, is not, it is not a slap on your personality. Neither is this uh, a brush on uh, you. But it also shows that um, you respect her and then you honor her. I think the wife should go all the way to do what is necessary. Now, another, another point I picked from people's comment was when um, some, a lot of people said, oh, you, this is your last chance. They said to the girl, this is going to be your last chance. You will never see a man like that. You will grow old at 59. You will not see a man. So my thing there is, is like, 
telling a lady that you're worthless without this particular man, you're not you are mad to nothing. You understand? And and I said to somebody, I said, this person, this lady in question that this lady in question, for at that point she is the gold, you know. She is the gold that the guy is about to dig out. She's the beautiful flower that the guy is about to pluck. You understand? So she is of a very high value. And if you think something is precious to you, it's like going how life say it. If you win a lottery or you win a car, for instance, a car of your dream, you know, sometimes you don't even know when you kneel and you are, you know, raising your hands up and you're hugging the person. So look at it the other way. This is a woman you are going to spend the rest of your life with. For me, kneeling down to propose to her, it, 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 it doesn't change anything. It's not going to make her a bad wife. It's not going to make her controlling over you. Because there's, there have been some ladies who have been proposed the same way, and they are good wives today. And there are still some, they stood to propose to, or they never even proposed to, and they are bad wives. You understand? So it's not even about the kneeling down. And again, where I, where, where I said the guy is a little bit, um, his ego is too high for me is, you know in, in marriage there's going to be issues, right? There's going to be time that they will have issues. They're going to have the time that they will quarrel. There's going to be time for them to, you know, make up. And one of the symbols of apologizing in a relationship or a marriage is kneeling down. Do you, do, you, do you get, sister, do you get where I'm going? If I offend my husband, for instance, if I offend my husband, for instance, depending on the, you know, the healers of the, of the crime, I will go on my knees. Likewise, the man, you understand? There's an offense a man will commit to the wife that will require him going on the knees. So are they saying that if he cannot do it now, which is now that he's proposing, Will he be able to do that in marriage? Yeah, I mean, if I can just come in, I mean, I think it is, it's almost not going to do it. I think um, it is the African egoistic man, I mean, which sometimes I think, that the truth is that we reduce the woman to a level that, I would say, um, it's um, a level that It is painful when when the, when a woman is reduced to such a level where she becomes so much of a of, um, subordinate, you know, or somebody who is um, who is who is on the who is on the of the man who is on the subject of the man, meaning whatever a man needs. A woman should actually provide exactly. for for him. Because that should not be, I mean, see, we're all human beings. And then the truth is that aside the fact that even Christianity has brought a lot of um, good in terms of a man um, with with virtues and then you get also a woman too which is to her own virtues and then uh, a man can treat the woman very good because a man and a woman there should be what they call inequality. That's what the world has been fighting for. True. As the the a man and a woman is equal. There is no 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 difference. So when you treat a woman as the second class the human person, I think it is questionable. I mean so I mean in as much as um in as much as that is what is being going going on as years in the century but it shouldn't it shouldn't continue because we've come to know better. So a woman is not a second part in terms of the human person. So a, a woman needs respect and then she also, she, uh, yeah, she also needs to be dignified as a person. So irrespective of um, the fact, half old or whatever, whatever she is, you know, a man should respect a woman. And then I follow her because, come on, this is your wife and then going to be the of, I mean, the mother of your children. I mean, you should follow her in every respect. I don't think, um, there's nothing you can do that can be so much that can be so much for a woman. For me, I, 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 and, and you know, at that point, she's still very um, precious. You know, if she doesn't do what the Africans will call shakara, if she doesn't do it at that point, when is she going to do it? You understand? She is precious, and I see that lady. Listen, yes, she might sound a little bit rude, but I don't 
actually think she is rude. She was only embarrassed. You understand? She was high, you know, she felt embarrassed. Oh, you mean I'm not good enough, you know, for you to kneel down and propose to just this one time. It's not like you're going to be kneeling down all the time, uh, begging me or saying anything. Just one time, just this one time. You understand? So she found, it was all cameras all around her. She felt embarrassed. So any other person would have acted the same way. Oh, you mean I don't deserve it? Look, I am not, I'm not desperate. If I'm not good enough for you to do this, then I'm not desperate. I walk away. That's what she did. So I, I view her as somebody who knew what she wanted. You understand? She knew what she wanted. She knew how she, um, the kind of treatment she wants, she knew, she knew what she wants. You understand? So uh, for the guy, I would say, to be honest with you, he's not ready to marry. Period. He's not ready. Yeah. I don't, I don't look at him as somebody who is ready. Yeah, if I may, yeah, if I may just come in there, I mean, you know, for me, I think it is, see, a woman, she, she's making her choice, that's her choice, is that what it means? And then if you, I mean, sometimes, I mean, things happen to tell you, to tell you about how that, that person, you know, and what situation has been warranted now to tell her or to inform her more of who that person is, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, the truth is that, what about you? I mean, there are two issues that will come in in marriage. That would be, this one in the first video, that would come in in marriage. Mm -hmm. Then, how do you think the man is going to handle it? And how do you think both of them are going to handle it? When, in the first issue, they're not even married yet, and then... They're yeah, having the issues with just little stuff. They're already right? having issues. So, I think, so, it's also a... Um, Red flag. It's also an inkling. It's also an inkling. Also, it's a sign that, um, uh, that this is the kind of man that you see, and then... Also, I mean, I think it is, so for me, I think a woman, a woman has work. What? A woman has work. So, if you know who you are, forget the fact that um, these people say that when a woman is getting old, uh, she, that's her last chance, you know, but it is, it is days and time, in all honesty. I mean, I stand to, I mean, in all honesty. If you look at I you know, I, I, I stand to put it wrong to some men who says, uh, it's your last chance, as they tell the women, it's oh. your last chance to get a grab it, grab it's your last time. It, do you know that it's when a man is ready to marry, that's when you know that women are scarce. Wives, let me put it that way. Right. Wives are scarce. Of course there are many women everywhere. We are everywhere, but... When you want to marry, that's when you know that wives are scarce to get. You understand? So if you see a good one who is good enough to be your wife, and you think treat her with you know respect, make her precious, make her special. That's what I would say because it's, it shouldn't have, it shouldn't have been an issue in the first place. You 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 are an African, yes, you have chosen that. Oh, I want to borrow this culture, then finish it up. If you didn't want to borrow, use the borrow culture, you should have gone back home, you know, and, you know, do the, the normal African style of maybe somebody get, the, 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 your parents spoke to the other, uh, the mother or the father of the other, and the both of you are brought together, you understand, what they call the is arranged marriage. You know, we are going past that era. We have gone past that era where, you know, you go to the parents. A lot of people don't do that anymore. I'm not saying, of course, if you want to marry a woman, you should go to her home and meet with the parents. But before now, since a lot of things have changed, which includes culture, everything has changed. It's not like the way it was in the 50s and 60s, even 70s. A lot of things have changed. And we're having you know, newer generation. Some, if, you, if, if you talk to my kids, for instance, they probably won't understand that this is not, it's not part of, it's not culture. Because all their life, all they know is a man kneels down and proposes to a woman, right? So, if you have chosen that, he should have finished it up. He should have just gone on his way. As simple as that, you're just going to do it once in your life. So, what is the big deal? Is she not that precious enough for you to do that? That's what, that's my own take on that particular uh, issue. And, um, 
please for those calling the girl because they, they give the, they say they, they call the girl uh, an incoming witch <laughs> that she was not going to make a good wife no these are not for me they are not good criteria to judge her i only see her as a woman who knows her what and what she wanted yes she must have acted a little bit a little bit angry because obviously you know who wouldn't if you make it public that way and she's even begging you to be you know to kneel down so for me i don't think she was out of proportion i i just say she knows what she wants period what do you say um sisters yeah i mean exactly i mean she knows what she wants like you said and then um, i think that the thing is that the way she's doing it so they understand each other so if you understand, they are not this level. I think whatever I see that the woman is asking from this man, he should be able to do. I mean, couple of the fact that if you go to be the mother of my, um, the father of my children, I mean, come on, I think this is, well, I think this is very linear. Yeah. Of what life, well, yeah, hey, compared to what life will give you when you marry, because it's exactly. so much. And they can't even handle this little one. Yeah, if, if you can't do this thing for her, and honor and respect her for the first who she is, I think there is a war in between. I mean, there's going to be war more when she and get married. And, and he even had the guts to post it. That's that's even the annoying part of it. So for me, it's like he, he, uh, he's not ready. He's he's a joker. You know, he had the guts uh, to put it online for people to see that he stood to uh, uh, to propose to a girl, and she said you no. Know, she has the right to say no. It's her life. Yeah. She's the diamond. She's the gold. She's the flower you're looking for. If she's precious enough for you, you will jump the fence to get her. So doing that for me is it's not it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. If it's if it's not in your culture, then don't come with a ring. You understand? Don't come with a ring. Wait for her somewhere under the tree. Since you want to go back to back in time. And wait for her under the tree at least I want to marry you or you <laughs> This is twenty fifth century. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, if I if I may just add one, you know, sometimes uh, we have, especially men, we have this notion that once we are domineering, I mean, it, it is an act of bravery uh, of strength, you know, but it's not. I don't think it is. It is not an act of bravery of strength. It is when you love somebody unconditionally, mm -hmm. eh, unconditionally, and then you're ready to stoop as much as being that. Come on, that is what they call bravery. Yeah. That is what they, that's what they call bravery. Yes. It is not that you have to I mean, you are you're the man who when you when you talk, everywhere goes silent. Or when you talk, people are running out of the And this bossy kind of attitude. Come on. Yeah, yeah, we was... need we need leadership kind of attitude. Let me say a leader will need a seat on behalf of his people. Exactly what you should do. If you're the head of the house, you're not a ruler, you're not a boss. No, what you do is you're a leader. And since you're a leader, you should. Both of you are commanding an army. Your army, both of you, is your husband and a wife who give birth to children, you know? And not even if they have no children. Because both of you are together, you're already at the people who to look up to you. So what I'm saying is, this ability show either is already in this particular situation where a man is already subjecting this woman to this particular act. I, I think it's already, if, 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 I'm sorry to say, the boy, it's the marriage that's already failed at the initial one. Yeah, yeah, the guy is a little bossy. Let me put it that way. He's going to be that, he's taking us back in time where the man is um, controlling you know yeah. controlling we are i'm not against you know the woman being respectful of course you have to respect and honor your husband but for me this is the beginning you know this is the beginning of their union and they are not getting it right i wouldn't he is not even getting it right forget about the lady first because for me the lady is who he is what he's seeking so you you, you give it up to get what you want right if you want something good you should give it all to get what you want so for me he he, 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 is, he, did, he didn't do it the right way. He should have given it all that he, you know that is required at that point. 
if even if he feels you know I wouldn't just for that period, you can go home and tell her, no, you shouldn't have embarrassed me that way. But since he could not handle it here, he should go back and get retrained or mm -hmm. married a little bit. It's not matured for me. That's what I would say. So that is it for that particular uh, post. My second post is uh, uh, the second one. I don't know if you. Even before I before I even got my second one, there's a post I made that the guy, this guy, this time around, he knelt down to propose to the woman, and she said no. She said the guy was begging, please, please take my ring. She said no. So even if you kneel down, and she doesn't want you.